is Julie from the Johnsburg Library. I hope you had a great week and are ready to have a lot of fun today. I have a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you before we begin. First of all, I wondered if you have taken advantage of our curbside pickup at the Johnsburg Library. We are not open yet for you to come into the building, but we would love to get books to you kids and you adults. So please just give us a call. If you have some books that you're thinking you might want to check out, we will look on our shelves to see if they are available for you and we will pull them for you. Otherwise, if you are not sure what you may want to read, we can help you with that as well. So either give us a call on the phone, that's 815-344-0077, or you can email us. If you check out our um, website, all the information is there for our curbside pickup. Speaking of our website, if you have not visited there in a while, please do because many of you may be wondering about summer reading this year. What are we gonna do if we can't go into the building and grab books and fill out our reading logs? Well, we are doing online reading program this summer through a company called Beanstack. And if you go onto the Johnsburg Library website, you will see the link that you can click on to get registered. It's super easy and it's gonna be a lot of fun. You can log your minutes for reading, and this includes small children, uh, middle-aged kids, high school kids, and adults. And you will log your minutes of reading and you will earn virtual badges, which are really cool. And also there are activities that you can do around the community or right in your own backyard. So we're trying to make it fun for you this year because you're not gonna be able to come into the library until we're not sure when. So please check that out. It started last Monday. We wanted to see how it was going before we mentioned it on this video here. But um, please check that out. We really would love for you to be reading. And we are here to pull those books for you and get them to the curbside for you to pick up. Okay? So that is out of the way. I am ready for story hour if you are. You know what we start with first? Our warm-up song. And then I'm probably going to have you sit down and relax. So let's get started on that. A couple of things you're going to need for the song are your hands. You're gonna need your feet, stinky or not stinky. You're gonna need your knees. You're gonna need your fingers. And lastly, you're gonna need either a real toothbrush if you wanna go grab that because that would be fun. Or if you would rather not, just pretend and use your finger, okay? Those are the things we need. I am ready if you are, so let's get started. All right, friends, I told you what you needed for this song. I hope you're up on your feet and are ready to move your bodies. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I like to dance here. You can dance too. First thing you need, hands. Here we go. Hands are for clapping. Clapping to this song. Hands are for clapping. Let's all clap along. Clap your hands. Get your knees 
get a beat on your knees for this one. <laughs> knees are for slapping, slapping to this song. Knees are for slapping, let's all slap along. Slap your knees. You can bring your knees up high. You've got lots of energy going on today. If you want to be more mellow, come down here. Do it a little bit slower. Well, okay. This one's good for you. Teeth are for brushing, brushing to this song. Teeth are for brushing, let's all brush along I like this. going to settle down a little bit here and we are going to think of possibilities and use our imaginations. This book inspires that in us and it's just a, a really sweet little book of, of ideas. So I hope you enjoy it. It is called What If Then We? Short, very short, shorter than ever possibilities. And we had two people work together on this book. We had an author, person who thought up this great story and wrote it down. And we also had an illustrator, somebody who used their artistic skills to draw the pictures so that we could even imagine further in this story. So our author today is Rebecca K. Dotlich. So thank you, Rebecca. And our illustrator is Fred Kohler. So thank you, Fred. Are you ready to go on a journey? Let's begin. So it looks like we have two friends. They might be going on an adventure. They're packing up their gear. So let's see where this book takes them. And are they polar bears? They look like polar bears to me. For every what if, the imagination creates a possibility. And in that possibility lives a story. Okay, so here we go. What if we got lost far, far away and couldn't find our way home? Then we would become the bravest explorers in the world. Look at them. They are brave explorers. Wow. What if the clocks stopped tick-tocking? Then we would have no bedtime. Hmm, would that be fun? I think that might be pretty fun. And look at, they're coming upon something here and it looks like it's made of what? Crayons maybe? Hmm. What if every crayon in the world melted? Then we would grab our pencils and fall in love with gray. See, even if all the colors went away, we could still make beauty with our pencils. Look at that. What if we began to cry and cry and could not stop? Hmm. He is very sad. Then we would make our own ocean and sail and fish for dreams. What are they catching? 
looks like kites. There's some origami birds there, an origami turtle. They're doing some origami now. Their boat's even origami. What if all the words in the universe disappeared? No. Then we would invent a whole new language. Look, it looks a little bit musical, doesn't it? A musical language. What if we get mad and never ever talk again? Uh-oh, they're having a fight. Looks like they're fighting over the map, maybe of where to go next. Then we would miss all the things that we would never ever ever share again. And that wouldn't be good either, would it? And it looks like their boat is kind of ripping. They've got to find a more stable place and maybe make up and not fight anymore, right? What if something really big and really scary happened? Whoa, looks like a big wave is coming. Maybe a storm is setting in. Look at them. They're trying to get on the very tip top of their boat. Then we would whistle and hold hands until it wasn't as big or as scary. Phew, they made it through. And look at the octopus holding on to him too. What if we shared something amazing and magnificent and wonderful? Then we would keep it our secret and treasure it every day. Wow. What if we wanted to imagine a thousand more possibilities? Then we would. Because that's the beauty of it. You can keep dreaming and dreaming and thinking and thinking. Never ending things that you can think of and try and do. It's endless. Always remember to imagine. Never forget. The end. All right, kids, we are back up on our feet. You know how Miss Julie is. I have you stand up. I have you sit down. I have you stand up. We are back up. We're going to move our bodies. We are going to do an action song called Walking, Walking. And now that sounds pretty easy, but we are going to do more than walking. So that's why our bodies are going to be moving and shaking. So we're going to do it one time through, because if I do it more than one time through, I am huffing and puffing. So are you ready to join me? Let's get going. Here's Walking, Walking. Here we go. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Tip toe, tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. Hop, 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 hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Marching, 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 marching. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Now let's stop. Whew. Now let's stop. Whew. Are you winded? I am. Thanks, friends. Woo. Now it's time for furry friend break. Enjoy our many furry friends and a couple of our furless friends, too. Bye. <laughs>
today I've got our flannel board and we're gonna do a flannel board writing about alligators wait a minute those aren't alligators I thought we were supposed to be doing alligators today let me check my notes oh no I was wrong we're doing chickadees these are our little chickadees can you help me count them because once we count them we will have the title of our flannel board run are you ready here we go one two, three, four, and five. Five little chickadees. That is the title of our flannel rhyme today. Do you know how chickadees sound, the little bird outside? They have a song kind of like this. Chickadee dee 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 dee. Chickadee dee 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 dee. They are the cutest little birds. We have quite a few in our yard. See if you can hear that song in your yard and you will know you are listening to a chickadee song. All right, here we go. Are you ready? So we know that there are five chickadees here, right? So five little chickadees peeping at the door. One flew away and then there were four. Chickadee, chickadee, happy day. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. Bye-bye, chickadee. And bye-bye, door. Four little chickadees sitting near a tree. One flew away, and then there were three. Chickadee, chickadee, happy day. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. Bye-bye, chickadee. Bye-bye, tree. Three little chickadees looking at you. They're all looking at you. One flew away, then there were two. Chickadee, chickadee, happy day. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. You can do the movements too. Fly away, chickadee. Bye-bye, chickadee. Two little chickadees sitting in the sun. One flew away and then there was one. Ready? Chickadee, chickadee, happy day. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. Bye-bye, chickadee. One little chickadee left all alone. It flew away. And then there were none. Hope you had fun. It is now time for the book, The Gruffalo. Do you know what a gruffalo is? Well, you're gonna learn all about it in this book. It's a super fun book, one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy it. I want you to take a guess on how many people worked on this book. Do you think one? Do you think two or more? Well, there were two people who worked on this book. We have the author who thought of the story and wrote it down. That is Julia Donaldson, and she thought up a great one in this book, The Gruffalo. And we have our illustrator, or the artist who drew the pictures, and that is Axel Scheffler. So thank you, Axel. Thank you, Julia, for working together to create this awesome story called The Gruffalo. So when you look at this front page here, who do you think The Gruffalo is? You think it's Little Mouse? or this guy here. Take a guess. Well, almost lost the book. Whew. 
All right, the Gruffalo. Here we go. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no. I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo, mouse? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, fox? I'm surprised you don't know. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted what? Oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the owl and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo mouse? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo owl? I'm surprised you don't know. He has knobby knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream, to whip to woo. Goodbye, little mouse, and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo, mouse? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, snake? I'm surprised you don't know. His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. Sharp purple prickles cover his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. A silly old snake. Doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. See what Mouse is up to? Oh, but what is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in its terrible jaws? And are those knobby knees and turned out toes? Is that a poisonous wart at the end of its nose? Are those eyes orange? Is that tongue black? Do sharp purple prickles cover its back? Oh yes, oh no, a Gruffalo! Whoa, it was real after all. My favorite food! The Gruffalo said, you'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep, dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone for miles is afraid of me. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. 
You lead the way. I'll follow after. They hadn't walked far when the Gruffalo said, I hear a slither in the grass ahead. It's Snake, said Mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake stared hard at the Gruffalo. Oh, shivers, his Snake. Goodbye, little mouse and slid right into his log pile house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Hard to believe, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear hooting in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said Mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl stared hard at the Gruffalo. Boo-hoo, screeched Owl. Goodbye, little mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. You may be right, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear paws on the path ahead. It's Fox, said Mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox stared hard at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, barked Fox. Goodbye, little mouse, and scampered into his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said Mouse, don't you agree? Everyone in the wood is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble. And my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. And all was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut looked good. The and do you see how that mouse got that gruffalo away? Smart, smart mouse. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, we're back up on our feet. Remember last week you had some homework to get your tapping sticks. So if you don't have them nearby, please go and get them. You can pause the video and go grab your tapping sticks. They can be pencils, pens, rulers, sticks from outside, whatever you can use to tap with, okay? I'll wait here, go get them. All right, are you back? All right, I have been out gardening a lot these days. And so when I was gardening, I used these as markers in my garden so that I knew where I planted things. And I thought, you know what? Those would be pretty good tapping sticks for this week's story hour. So I brought them in, they're a little bit dirty, but they will work as tapping sticks. So if you are ready with yours, let's get started. This is called, This is the Way, okay? So just follow along with me, here we go. This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we hammer our sticks, Hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks. This is the way we hammer our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we drum our sticks, drum our sticks, drum our sticks. This is the way we drum our sticks so early in the morning. This is the way we tap them soft, tap them soft, tap them soft. This is the way we tap them soft so early in the morning. This is the way we tap them loud, tap them loud, tap them loud. This is the way we tap them loud so early in the morning. This is the way we tap them slow, tap them slow, tap them slow. This is the way we tap them slow, so early in the morning. 
Do you know which one would come next? Yeah. This is the way we tap them fast, tap them fast, tap them fast. This is the way we tap them fast so early in the morning. Woo! Good job. All right, guys, we are on to our last book of our story hour today. So in some of the story hours, I have talked about frogs and we are in the season of spring and with spring come the emergence of frogs, but they start as babies. Does anybody know what a baby frog is called? It is called a tadpole and it starts out like a little fish and it lives in the water. And then once it grows to be a frog, it lives in and out of the water. So our book today is called 10 Tiny Tadpoles. And there's one person who worked on this book. This person is both the author and the illustrator. So this person thought of the story, wrote it down, and also did the artwork. But this person also did a little bit extra with the artwork as well. The person I am referring to is Debbie Tarbit. Okay, so she did beautiful artwork here, but if you can see, she also has some cutouts in the cover of this book and little plastic baby tadpoles there. So you will see them throughout the book. So she went a little bit extra step and made this book extra fun for us with these little plastic tadpoles that we're going to count throughout the book. So I hope you enjoy. Are you ready to count with me? Let's go. 10 tiny tadpoles. 10 tiny tadpoles wriggling in a line. One went chasing dragonflies, so that left nine. Nine speedy tadpoles, too busy to wait. One couldn't quite keep up, so that left eight. Eight playful tadpoles in splishing, splashing heaven. One stayed with the crayfish. There's the crayfish. So that left seven. Seven daring tadpoles getting up to tricks. One took a turtle ride. So that left six. Six frisky tadpoles want to duck and dive. One swam off to join the shrimp. See all those shrimps there? So that left five. Five lively tadpoles splashing near the shore. One got lost among the reeds. Look, there's a possum. So that left four. Four happy tadpoles floating fast and free. One met a friendly fish. So that left, how many? Do you know? Three. Three nosy tadpoles roaming waters new. One nattered with the newts. So that left, how many? Two. Two silly tadpoles searching for some fun. One joined the water snails. So that left one. One lonely tadpole wriggled off and then suddenly he found his friends and there were <gasps> Ten! Ten bouncing baby frogs croaking all day long. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Hopping through the flowers as they sang their happy song. And look at what Debbie did. She even included this great pop-up at the very end of the story. She made a beautiful book about little tadpoles growing into wonderful frogs. Hope you enjoyed. The end. All right, it is now time for your homework, kids, and your academic resource. So for next week, let's bring out our shakers again. 
Remember those? I don't know if you made like a cup and you put some rice or some beans or some little stones in it and taped it up to make a shaker or put some something in a little jar to make a shaker. I've got my little jar with jelly beans in it. So if you don't have a shaker, try and make one this next week. But if you do have a shaker from last time, get that out and bring it for next time, okay? So your academic resource I thought might be fun if you visited the YouTube channel called Australian Reptile Park, okay? So when you do, you can enjoy cute, fun, action-packed videos, entertaining shows, themed exhibits, and behind-the-scenes tours. These videos are geared for toddlers all the way up to adults, so you can all enjoy all the little animals and reptiles you may see behind the scenes. Okay, so I hope you enjoy those, and remember your shaker jars. All right, we'll see ya. Now it's time to read our beautiful book by Jim Gill, May There Always Be Sunshine. Enjoy. May There Always Be Sunshine. May There Always Be Blue Skies. May There Always Be Mama. May there always be me. May there always be colors. May there always be grapes. May there always be teeth. May there always be fish. May there always be pancakes. May there always be books. May there always be blankets. May there always be dads. May there always be farmers. May there always be hats. May there always be dancing. May there always be rain. May there always be skyscrapers. May there always be fiddles. May there always be birthdays. May there always be us. it is with a sad heart that we must say goodbye to another story hour but don't be sad because next week we will be together again so we are going to do our goodbye song please do not forget to check out the Johnsburg library website so you can get registered for our summer reading program so that you can earn some virtual badges and do some fun activities and read 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 for prizes okay I look forward to you doing that I can't wait all right, guys, let's do our goodbye song. Clap your hands, stamp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. always says to be well, to live strong, and always laugh often. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>